KT7 up here. Today, I will review and showcase 140 Spring Gym. I just got her to 140 a few hours ago. She is a new generation DPS unit with top tier HP and crazy amount of attack and penetration. Ash and King and her share very similar stats, both units are just OP. Anyways, I won't go into too much details on her kit as she will be available in global in about 6 hours. These are the items we will go over today. Let's get started. We will start with her new great sword. The general ability is defense penetration 20. And for Joom and a few other main jobs, they also get accuracy 15 and reduce magic damage taken when HP is above 70%. The aim type is what I recommend. Personally, I like Astrius's great sword better as she can also take advantage of the slash penetration and physical man eater. Moving over to her TMR. It is an accessory. The stats are HP 227, defense 10, attack 60, and accuracy 8. The ability is a self buff and the effects last for 4 turns. Gives the user's attack 40%, accuracy 30, and lower target slash resistance by 15 before damage. The ability is pretty good, could be useful on a larger map. Let's quickly go over her base stats. As you can see, her HP is 4372, just 200 shy from Oldoa and Dario. And her attack is at 463. For reference, New Lucio's attack was the highest in the game at 437. Her base agility is 59, it could go as high as 77 if you equip her with her agility support ability. She is a stat monster, but her accuracy is worrisome. She does have a sure hit but I highly recommend to give her some accuracy from other sources. Moving on to her master ability and 140 upgrades. Her master ability gives her unit resistance 15 and attack 20%. At level 140, she gets up to 15 magic damage reduction for wider area. Slash and magic resistance 15. An upgrade to her job level 25 attack to include dispel protect before damage. These are a few notable abilities from her main kit. Her group buff gives the group 4 turns reduced magic damage taken by 25% and unit attack resistance of 25. Also for the group, seal courage removal on hit for 3 turns. Then for herself, courage, slash and magic resistance up 25, lower AP consumption 33%, and restore 20 AP. Her self buff gives her a 50% auto heal back when her HP drops below half. Also increase her defense 25, and 50% damage absorption for 4 turns. Now her LB, removes physical damage reduction for wider area, lower targets all elemental resistance by 20 for 3 turns, then deals extra large damage. The last ability I will go over today is her job level 25 attack. Increase slash penetration by 40 for 3 turns. Dispel protect, lower targets AoE resistance by 60%, then deals damage large. Also lower targets magic penetration by 40 and lower healing power by 50 for 3 turns. These are some crazy abilities. But that's not all. She also has a sure hit and re-raise removal from her main kit. Next equipments, espers, and trust stones. I like Astrius's great sword for her the most, aim type is what I recommend. Her new sword is not a bad choice, the magic damage reduction is really good. But I think it might be a bit of overkill. She is very tanky against magic as is. Plus she does not need more defense penetration, slash pen is more useful for her. In the second slot, the Maximilian armor is my top choice. In the TMR slot, give her accuracy and agility. Of course, haste is always good. For her trust stones, agility or aim are the ones I recommend. Her accuracy is a problem, be mindful of that. Sample teams will be next. Now my final thoughts on her. I have also put all her support and reaction abilities on the screen here. Joom is the best DPS unit in the game alongside Ash and King. Her main job offers so much. She is really fast and hit really hard. She can be purchased for 12,000 pay Vizior. For those who are low on free vis, she is a great deal. But it is really expensive. I do recommend everyone to pull for her, she is that good. But spend wisely. She is not a limited unit, there is a good chance you will pick her up randomly. She will also be available in the unit of choice banners in the future. Now I will go over a few sample teams. The first team I have is the Mixed Ice and Water team with Summer Glassy and A2. 
Her defense penetration is at 96 at all times. Her slash penetration starts off at 78, and it can go above 100 with her active ability. She is at 0 times reincarnations and her attack is already above 2k. With this much penetrations, she hits like a truck. She is also very tanky against magic, her magic resistance is at 53. Be sure to keep an eye on her accuracy, it could be a problem. The second team I have is Mono Water with Summer Glassy and Ferris. The healing from Ferris works really well with Maximilian on Jum. This setup is the typical water team, don't forget an accuracy VC. My Veritas of Water is only at level 107, she could be the third member on this team as well. The last team I have prepared is Full Greatsword with Astrius and A2. Both Soul, Shawls or any devout units will work as well, just switch out some of the VCs. This time, I switched Jum's Trust Stone to Aim. That's all the teams I have prepared. I apologize for not giving as much details as my other videos. I really wanted to get this out before her banners drop. Now let's go to a few sample matches. I will have subtitles for her abilities. That's all I have for today. Thank you for watching. Have a good one.
ましたね静かに私は満足ですよお前は見事に逃がさない甘く見るなよさあやってやろうぜ春の嵐を<笑>ボルケは相変わらずのようだお前はそれでよい。